So now we're, we're going through some of the most widely frequently asked questions, most widely used uh, topics in this. So let's keep going with our questions. How about yield dilution? What does that mean, yield dilution, and why is it important? This comes from years and years of study of crops in the field. And let me draw a graph of what this looks like. When we do um, yield, let me see, but what am I going to put down here? Days here. As we do, this is yield, and when yield goes up, we can show this in another color. Let's put this in green. Protein goes down. Now, this is a very well-known effect in, in plant science and in all crop science. It's, it happens in rice and wheat and corn, everything. And especially, this could be nitrogen here. I'm going to put that in brackets, nitrogen concentration. Um, and it's a, it, protein's a good thing in those crops, but as yield goes up, protein always goes down. Well, we don't grow cannabis for high protein, but we surely grow it for high cannabinoids. So in this case, if we did this cannabis, this would be um, THC right here. Now, we have evidence from multiple studies that this relationship happens. Yield is carbohydrates in the flour. It's the proteins, cellulose in the flour, other things that make the flower have good structure. And as those, as the cellulose goes up, it dilutes the THC. And that's what yield dilution is. It's very tricky to get high yield and high THC. So to take this again in another graph here, let's take the nitrogen in the root zone now. We would like to have Yield, this is going to be a non-linear response. Here's yield. And what we would like to get is just enough stress so that the THC goes like this. I'm going to put THC in this line. Um, so as we stress the plant, um, the yield goes down slightly, but the THC can go up. We want to be somewhere right in here in this sweet spot to get the highest THC um, and, and have a minimal yield penalty. But this concept of yield dilution has been around forever. Um, and this is really why we do precision stress of plants to concentrate the valuable things. We do it in food crops all the time. We have a big project around here to precision stress fruit trees to make higher sugars in the fruit. We, who wants to buy big watery fruit that we'd like to have more concentrated, more flavorful fruits? All the things that make products good result in a slight decrease in yield, but a big increase in quality. And that's what we're shooting for in cannabis. This same thing can happen with terpenes too. Um, more concentrated terpenes, not just cannabinoids. But this is an example, once again, of precision fertilization to optimize yield and quality.